everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, maybe you're catching this on replay, on YouTube, on my blog, wherever you may be watching from, or maybe you're live with me tonight. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming on in and spending your Wednesday evening with me. Uh, how is everyone doing? Is everyone well? Uh, hello, Karen's here tonight. Who else? Please come in and introduce yourself. My name is Jamie. I am a Stampin' Up! Uh, demonstrator here in upstate New York for almost six years. I'm about to have my anniversary, my stamp anniversary, um, which is pretty exciting. And I just really look forward. I love sharing uh, paper crafting with you, ideas, projects, tutorials, my videos. Um, and honestly, at the end of the day, if you never shop with me, you never join my team, you never come to an event, I still want you to have a positive uh, stamping paper crafting experience. And so if I can help in any way, shape or form, please let me know. That's what, um, it just brings me so much joy and I love it so much. Good evening, Denise and Lori. Marsh is here. Oh, it's been a week. Oh dear, Denise. I kind of feel, yeah, I took Monday off. So I work, I've been really trying to take Sundays off for my business, like completely off, which I never used to do. <laughs> but I've been trying really hard. And being Christmas, I took a long weekend and I took Monday off. And I'm kind of paying the price for it. So if you noticed, my weekly email went out this morning as opposed to last night. I'm a little backed up. I'm a little behind. That's what happens, right? <laughs> Hello, Denise and Angie and Amy's here. Good evening, everyone. Okay. Tonight's card is a fun fold. Brittany, you're here. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I apologize if I'm a little in the dark. I'm trying something new tonight. Normally, without before I was doing the double stream here, um, I would kill my my overhead lights here. I would just shut them off so I didn't have a, a shadow casting down on my project. Um, but now that you can see me, I feel like I'm a little in the dark, a little bit. <laughs> so I apologize for that. It looks like your ceiling is so low. I actually am in my basement, Marsha. So um, we have a finished basement down here. It's actually quite big. It's where our family room is. And I kind of have the corner, which is like my stamping space. And so that is probably some sort of duct work that is being hidden back there. But it is a low ceiling. It is, um, you know, a basement. <laughs> uh, I used to call it the dungeon before we had it redone. But now it's really pretty and beautiful in my craft space. So... <laughs> Um, okay, a couple of things, a couple of announcements. I'm gonna get making tonight's card, which is a fun fold. I never do fun folds, but it's super simple. It's kind of like my kind of a fun fold that are like really, really easy. And um, a couple of things. We are now six days away, I think, um, from the mini catalog going live, okay? So if you haven't um, seen over on my Facebook page, I posted a selfie with my catalog. Please post a selfie with yours. And then I'm going to do a random drawing and someone's going to win prize patrol, okay? So you can find that uh, post over on Facebook. And um, here's the mini catalog. It's so fun. I think this is probably one of my most favorite catalogs I've seen in a, in a long time. I just love so many things. I've gotten so many already and the list isn't even like put a dent into it. So, you know, it's all good. That's when your demonstrator discount comes in handy, let me tell you. So if you are considering joining, um, I highly recommend to do it during a new catalog when you maybe have a long wish list because then you can get your discount on everything, right? Um, hello, Michelle. How's how's Michelle doing tonight? Michelle's on my team. So is Renice. <laughs> um, okay. Um, okay, so catalog goes live next Tuesday. Stamp Camp will be closing registration Monday night because Tuesday morning, I'm literally going to wake up and place the big gigantic order. So if you are interested in joining my stamp camp this year, I would love for you to do so. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hello, Zara. Zara is um, my buddy that I'm partnering with. So you, if you are a Canadian resident, please head over to stampcampjamieb.com. And there is a link over there where you can register with her if you are in Canada. If you are in the United States, head over to stampcamp.jamieb.com and you'll find all the information. Um, there's going to be stamping presentations, pillow gifts, 
uh, make and takes stampin up product of course and prize patrol just like so so much fun it's going to be a blast and i would love for you to be there and participate and not miss out honestly it's going to be so much fun so stamp camp jamie b registration closes monday secondly from cold iowa i hear you karen we're really chilly, although this week it's going to warm up a bit, but yeah, we're quite cold ourselves. Um, second thing, next Monday closes my product share. Okay, so um, I was going to do this ahead of time and I forgot. Product share, uh, it gets you a sampling of all the pretty new designer series paper, the pretty new ribbon, the pretty embellishments. Oh, you're going to want it all. But the product share really is there to help you get a sampling of everything without having to buy literally one of everything. So if you're getting um, the designer paper, it's all going to be six by six. And unless you're getting, um, except for this one here, which is a four by six card. And then ribbon is cut to a yard and embellishments is just like a sampling. So productshare.jamieb.com. Some of them include um, some free products. So head on over there and get all the details. The one we're using tonight, let me just give you a quick sneak peek before I continue on to the card. This is the card I'm going to be making. But this is the new paper, Abstract Beauty. It is a four by six specialty designer paper, which means specialty usually means there's something special about it. In this case, it has some gold touches kind of running through it, which the light picks it up and it really is just so, so pretty. Um, I'm going to be using this pattern tonight, actually three patterns, that one and then those two. But I wanted to give you a sampling sneak peek of it <laughs> because it's just so, so pretty. Hello. Oh, thank you for sharing, Pam. I appreciate it. Good evening, Shirley. How is everyone tonight? So all of our designer paper comes double-sided. The hardest part about it is going to be deciding which side to use because they're all pretty. Um, but we have this uh, floral one here. You get four, um, four sheets in a pack of each um, pattern. So... Well, let me just show you the front. So you have that one. We have that one. We have this one. So black, white, gold. So pretty. The combination. This one is like a misty moonlight night of navy with like this gold splatter in it. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Um, pink, gray, black, gold. Like such a stunning combination of colors that they've put together. This one has also, again, specialty. So that light picks up the gold. Oh my goodness. Love it. This is the one we're using kind of on the front of the card tonight. This one's just like a striped gold, which could be used for anything. So versatile. A polka dot gold. Woo, woo, woo. And then almost done. Two more. No, three more. This one here is similar to that one, but different, different colors to use. A flor floral, but again, it has that gold running through it. So pretty. I'm running out of room. <laughs> Whoop. And then this one I think is so pretty. It's got like pink, the same colors, but smaller. And I think it'd be really pretty for like a baby card. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to take a swig of water. My throat is dry. I'm so sorry. My throat was getting so scratchy and dry at the end. I'm like, there's no way I'm making through this. And then the flip side is not the specialty side, but more kind of um, just patterns, not so many like images. But black and white, you have a blue, I think that's crushed curry. Black and white stripes, so fun, like a splatter. So just a really like variety of images and styles. I love the black and white patterns. I love the gold running through it. So if you are interested, a sampling of this pack will be included in my product share, okay? That does close uh monday evening so midnight monday is my product shares are are wrapped up because literally tuesday morning early early i'm going to get up and place that order so um don't miss out on that um if you have any questions please let me know i'd love to help and answer questions okay should we get going on tonight's card i want to give a shout out to i believe her name is jackie h um i did post a, a link to um where I got the inspiration and the measurements for tonight's card. It is not original measurements of mine. I saw her card and I was like, that's what I'm making. And I knew I could rub. I did kind of make some things my own and kind of um, tweak some things, but overall the general measurements are from her. And so I just want to give her a shout out, okay? 
Uh, let me do this again and we'll get going. Okay, so simple fun fold from the front. It looks just like a general normal, normal, quote unquote normal card. But then when you open it up, you first see this, which I love, 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 love. And then you see that and I love it even more. So you can do so much with this design. I'm really kind of capitalizing in designer series paper. I am a huge fan. If you are short on time, new to stamping, need to whip up a bunch of cards at once, use designer paper. It does all the work for you. I mean, this is mostly just cut card stock, cut DSP designer paper and then put into a fun fold and it does all the work for you i also like really like this just for like a card like if we could just make cut that out and make a card front i really love that oh thank you angie i'm so glad you like it it's so simple i'm gonna give you the measurements i'm gonna do my best i might put them in the comments below here i meant to do that sooner and i forgot so um let's get going and i'll show you exactly how i made the card it's so simple really really simple if i'm making it it's nothing complicated <laughs> that's kind of my jam okay so we're starting off with blushing bride um the colors in here in the pack are balmy blue basic black blushing bride that's what i'm pulling from crush curry just jade magenta madness misty moonlight night of navy pumpkin pie and basic white so i am pulling those colors in i'm specifically the blushing bride and this is a standard card so it's five and a five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter okay it's a standard sort my daughter is on is on her hoverboard upstairs i don't know if you can hear that but it's like a buzzing every time she goes by oh my kids I love them so much. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Okay, so this is basically the, the base of everything that we're gonna work off of, okay? What do I wanna do next? Okay, let's do the, some DSP. So I have, um, okay, so let's see here. Can I do this? I'm not sure I'm that coordinated, but let's see if I can do this. I'm probably gonna, you're gonna see my arm. Hold on, can I do this? I'm sorry, I'm still figuring this all out. So um, let's see here. Give me a second. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to type here your basic measurements that you want. Um, I know that a couple of you were saying that it was a little hard to uh, follow. So let's see if I can do this. Um, goal. I meant to do this ahead of time. <laughs> Didn't happen, obviously. Uh, okay, so that. And then let's do this one. We'll do this, this, this. So then I'm going to post it. If you want to just take a screenshot for a future reference, you can do that. Okay. So these are my card measurements, my card stock measurements. Okay. If you want to grab a screenshot, if you would like to, um, it looks like I did, I did hit return, <laughs> but they're all like jumbled on one line. But those are the measurements that I'm going to be working with. Okay. I don't, the only thing I didn't put in there was the blushing bride, the card base, because there's nothing fancy about it. Okay. So take three, two, one, <laughs> take your screenshot. It'll stay, it'll be in the comments if you want to reference it later. Okay. So um, for the front, I have a panel of basic white and that one um, pattern of DSP. It's the one that has the blue kind of grid on the back. Okay. The white will be <laughs> four by five and a quarter. I have to think. And the DSP that I did that wrong. The DSP is not four by five and a quarter. Ah, yeah, yeah. What did I do with my pen? Don't take <laughs> this. Is my chicken scratch? Can you see my terrible handwriting? So it's not five by four, it's um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Okay, let's. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That very last DSP measurement should be three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Three and <laughs> this is what I get for not doing it ahead of time. Three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. That's the correct measurement of that very last DSP. Okay. So that's this one here. And we're just going to layer one over the other. You know me, I can't really do much of anything without matting. It all has to be matted because I think it just kind of finishes it nicely and gives a nice frame to all the prettiness, right? Okay. Then this is going to go right on our card front, right on the card front. Whoops. 
I'm going to take your pick tools slowly rolling here like that. Okay. Now we have to get the cut out of it. We have to get the, the hexagon, <laughs> the shape out of it. And so what I'm going to use is the beautiful shapes dies. Okay. I love these guys. I think they're going to absolutely become a staple in your craft space, in your craft room and crafting because it's just really unique, different. It's not a square. It's not a circle. It's just fun and different and you can layer them. There's one, two, three, four different sizes. And then we have a couple of circles, but I don't know if you can tell, but this last circle here also embosses and so do these guys. So they cut out the big shape but they do like an embossing on the inside. Um, I'm sorry, Dawn. I'm trying a new uh, app and it might easily be my end. I'm sorry. Oh boy. I hope everything's okay. Um, so I'm going to use the two largest hexagons and they are really thin. So please be careful as you're pulling them off that you don't accidentally break it. Okay. Well, I'm going to use the larger of the two and I'm going to just now... <laughs> When you run it through your die cutting machine, make sure you open the card. <laughs> okay, if you go like this, I don't know if you'll be able to get through this card stock, but you'll probably make a dent of some sort. Okay, so when you run it through your die cutting machine, really make sure your card is completely laid out flat and you're not going to indent the inside. If you are particular about sizing, by all means, measure it up and make sure your die is centered. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eyeball it and fingers crossed, hope for the best. The dies are new, Shirley. This, all the product I'm using, except for like the stamp set, this, the ink pad, excuse me, um, is going to be available beginning January 4th. All new, all new goodies. Okay. So I'm going to kind of eyeball this, hopefully centered. I should have put my glasses on. I can't get far enough away somewhat centered and then i'm gonna run it through my machine and hope i don't oh of course it moved um well we're gonna go with that okay hold on let me try that again there we go It worked. So when you're, when you're um, winding it through, I would definitely like wind it once and then like wind it back because you have to remember this die is going through two pieces of cardstock and a designer paper. So it, it, there is a thickness to it, of course. So, you know, just be mindful and you'll actually get the three things cut out, which is like really cool. So set those aside. You can use them for another time. Okay. Now, if you didn't want to do the fun fold, you could keep it just like this, put a white on the inside and stamp your sentiment like right there. But we're going to go one step further and make it a fun fold, okay? So for the fun fold, I have a panel of basic white. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just trying to look at my measurements and make sure I'm right. <laughs> I am so notorious for doing this, getting measurements and not giving them right. Okay, so five and a quarter by eight, okay? And then it's scored at four and six. So you're basically creating two inch, two, two inch panels and it's going to fold like, come on, like this. Okay. This is the inside of our card. Boop, boop. So give it a good crease burnish, which by the way, I'd never heard of that word. <laughs> I had never heard of that word burnish. Still feels a little weird to say burnish, right? It's not var varnish. Varnish is like the paint. Burnish is what you do to cardstock. <laughs> That's why I don't ever say the word because I'm always afraid I'm going to say varnish instead of burnish. Score, score, increase. <laughs> We're going to crease the cardstock. <laughs> okay, so I just put a ton of um, adhesive on the back, way more than I probably need, and I'm going to adhere it to the inside of my card like that, you know, more or less. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, what do I want to do next? Let's do our panels. I have two panels that we're going to do. Um, I'm bringing in the gold, which is just so pretty. I just love this like 
the, the light hits it and reflects off of it. It's so pretty. And then it just a little bit around the edges kind of brings in that gold again. So pretty. I'm in love. I love it. <laughs> Can you tell? Uh, so I have two um, panels of gold and two panels. I am so sorry. You're getting, let me do that. You're getting um, glare off my lights in two um, panels. So the pan, the DSP panels are one and three quarters by five. Yep. One and three quarters by five. And then the two gold panels are one and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I am not good at giving measurements. It's something, it's one of my goals. Um, what was the size of the base card? So the blushing bride, I, is that what you're asking, Marsha? The blushing, blushing bride is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. It's a standard card base. Five and a half, eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Is that what you meant by the card base or do you mean the basic white? The basic white is five and a quarter by eight, scored at four and six. If I totally did not answer your question right, please let me know and I'll try and do better. Try, <laughs> no promises. Okay, so that gets matted on that one. This is gonna get matted on this one. The ba um that one. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so I have two panels that I've created, okay? One's going to go here and one's going to go here. You can do them however you want in whichever way order you want, but I'm going to put the more floral one here. There's no wrong or right answer. Just do whatever looks good. Whatever you think looks good is what you should do. And then the second one's going to go kind of on the inside. When they open the inside, we'll be able to see that other panel. So that one and that one. I'll try and, um, oh, <laughs> what is the name of the DSP? So, oh, that's not what you want to see. Good gravy. The DSP is called Abstract Beauty. It is a four by six. So when I first started with uh, Stampin' Up, there wasn't six by six designer paper, at least when I when I joined, maybe, maybe you know, outside of that. Um, but I wish that would focus. I don't know why it's not focusing, but it's abstract beauty. This is a four by six. You get 48 um, pieces, <laughs> 48 things uh, in it. I love it. It's so pretty. A sampling of it in my product share. So if you're like, I don't know if I need like a whole pack um, product share, or you're like, well, I think I kind of want to see it up close in person before I buy a whole pack product share. Um, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of product shares. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So this is what we have so far. Now that's going to get covered, but the, that's the gist. Okay. Joop, joop, joop. So I need a separate panel of basic white. Yeah, I could use this one. And I'm going to do uh, some stamping. Now, you may not know this, and this was kind of like, did I really need to do this? Probably not. I stamped the Hello Beautiful in, uh, I said polished pink, but it's, I pulled out polished pink, but it's not polished pink. It's magenta madness. And then I just did like a little, little, little bit of gold embossing. Do you see like those little five little like lines, stripes? I embossed them. Um, I don't know why, but, <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to stamp. Oh, I didn't put them on a block. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Here's the stamp set we're using. Oh, you're giving a glare off my lights. I love these shapes. So like all this design, you can pretty much create yourself with the different images in the stamp set here. Create your own patterns, mix of colors. You could do um, all sorts of reds and pinks for Valentine's Day, greens for St. Patrick's Day. Um, pastels for Easter. I mean, you can really adapt this stamp set to any occasion, any holiday, masculine, feminine, child, whatever. Love it. And excuse me, really, really awesome sentiments. They're on the smaller side, I would say. Um, I love the thank you, love the script and really kind of like fun doodaddy images, stamps. I don't know, whatever you want to call this, like 
Like, what is that? I don't even know. Could you make like a mountain? <laughs> I don't know what that one is. But I'm going to use the Hello Beautiful. I forgot to, to mount it. Come on. Let me get a block. Whoops. Almost took down my lights. They almost came a tumbling down. And then this little, little, literally little guy. Little five little stripes. Okay. Um, but I was going to, do I want to switch it up? I considered switching. No, I'm not going to switch it up. We're going to leave it as is. I considered doing the Hello Beautiful in the um, uh, gold embossing, but we're going to leave it as is. Sonia, good evening. Okay, so Hello Beautiful is getting stamped. I hope I left enough room. Let me just test space before I move on. Yep, we're good. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had stamped it too high up. Hello Beautiful Magenta Madness. Come on, come on. <laughs> Okie dokie. Then we're going to do some gold heat embossing, which <laughs> my heat tool is on the floor. There we go, more or less. Okay, so gold heat embossing. So Stampin' Up! no longer carries the um, embossing buddy, but I do recommend using it. You can find them on Amazon. It takes away all the static so that when you stamp in Versamark and then you put down the powder, the powder only sticks to the Versamark and not to like the little staticky pieces that are around. It will make a world of a difference when you're heat embossing. So definitely want to use an embossing buddy. Highly recommend it. Hello, Joan from Washington State. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Washington State. Okay, I'm going to stamp. Whoops, where's my camera? I'm so, my camera is normally on this side, but I have to have this side. So it's five little, five little dashes. It's just such like a little minor detail, but I don't know. I think it's fun. So I'm going to stamp that in the Versamark ink. I'm going to cover my ink pad so that the powder doesn't stick to it. I'm going to sprinkle generously the powder. Hold on. Oh, I crinkled my paper. That's okay. I think it's not going to notice. I'm going to close my embossing powder because if you turn your heat tool on when your embossing powder is out, I may know a thing or two that it kind of goes everywhere. No problem, Michelle. Have a good one. I almost said Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just heat, um, turn on my heat tool. Takes like no time at all to heat up. And just and once it goes to a nice shine, you're good to go. Bam. Bam. <laughs> my oldest daughter and I, we love to do puzzles. Love to do puzzles. We've done, I think we've done either five or 6,000 piece puzzles so far. We only do them from like mid-October to the end of December. Actually, we started one after Christmas and we haven't touched it since. Um, but it's so funny when we're like working and trying to find the right piece. And when we find a piece, we go, bam, right? I don't know. Maybe you have to be there, but it made me think of it since I said, bam. Oh, send the snow this way, Joan. We haven't had hardly any snow. It's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to use the second largest hexagon, okay, to cut that out. I'm going to do that off screen. Okay, gives us this. Now, remember before when we cut out uh, the, the hexagon from the front, this is what we got. We got three separate pieces. We're going to use the basic white. Don't throw it away. We're going to use it. And we're going to adhere. I'm going to use liquid glue. I think for my sample, I used um, stamp and seal, but why not switch it up a little bit and adhere this one over the other. I originally was going to do this with dimensionals and have the one hexagon be um, adhered down with dimensionals. Sorry, that wasn't exactly centered. Uh, but I go back and forth because when you open it, because it's propped up a little bit, it did tend to get like this tended to get caught on it a little bit. I don't know if it really matters, but you know, for it to be able to open a little smoother, right? I didn't do the dimensionals, but if you don't mind that, totally do dimensionals. It was cool. I I did it originally and then I had to cut it off because I noticed it was catching, but totally. 70 in North Carolina. Oh my gosh. 
Wow, that's incredible. That's crazy. Okay, now my little trick. This is my little trick. Okay, it's probably you're all like, yeah, we know that, Jamie. But I thought I was pretty genius coming up with it. So you only want the hexagon to be adhered to this panel, correct? Because if we adhere to this panel, it's not opening. <laughs> so we really just want, um, again, let me show you, we just want it adhered here. That's the only place that the hexagon is adhered to is this panel here. If you adhere it to the basic white, it's a seal. It's not a fun fold, it's a closed fold. <laughs> Doesn't quite work. So what I did is while it was closed, I put adhesive down just where my hexagon was showing. Because if I guesstimated and put the adhesive on the hexagon, I could be off a little bit. I could be missing it a little bit. Maybe I'm not putting enough down. This way, if I'm using, if I have my card closed and I'm putting adhesive down on that little panel, then I know it's going exactly where I want it and there's no questions about it, okay? So my card is still closed. I have the adhesive just in this part, not on the base of white. And I'm going to, starting on the right, lay my hexagon in the hole. Like so. Okay. And then you can pull that up. And I think I'm not quite, well, am I centered? I don't know if I'm quite centered, but close enough centered. I think my stamping is a little not centered. But there you go. Bada boom. Right? Now. Here's the thing. If you didn't want DSP, you could easily be stamping on these panels. Do a nice stamped um, images on this panel. You could do a stamp, a bigger stamped image here. You could even stamp down here. You could really kind of go crazy. And then instead of using more designer paper, do more stamped images. Um, you could do a combination of both. You could do pretty much whatever you want to do. I kept things super, super clean and simple. That's kind of my thing. And so I didn't add anything to the inside, nothing stamped. And all I did was add a big kind of big chunky bow on the outside, which I didn't even use a fork bow with. Like, who, am I, who even am I? I don't know. <laughs> this is the gold bup, 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 shimmer ribbon. Uh, I want to say it's in the annual catalog. Okay. So all I did is I... You're, you need a lot, so I don't even know. This is probably, well, it looks like it's probably more than 16 inches. I eyeball, honest to goodness. I'm so bad with measurements because I mostly eyeball. Make sure your ribbon is laying flat on the inside. And then, and then we're going to tie a nice, hopefully tie a nice chunky bow. You know how I feel about bows. It's not even a love-hate relationship. It's just a hate-hate relationship. <laughs> There's no, not much love there. Oh, well, thank you, ladies. But I'm going to try and sweet talk it. <laughs> sweet talk it and maybe we'll be friends. Maybe it'll do what I want. I doubt it. It'll probably take a couple times. Ah, well, hold on, hold on. We're going to go it. We're going to, I'm not going to mess with it. It's good enough. It is not quite the way I want it looking, but it's, we're going to call it good enough. I kind of want that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a haircut. So here's the thing. Um, fun sentiment, beautiful designer paper, a fun fold, a big chunky ribbon bow, and you're done. Again, you can do more with it. You can do less with it. You don't have to add the bow if you don't want to. Um, but let the paper do all the work. If you have paper, designer paper sitting around, don't, <laughs> don't use it. <laughs> okay. So that's, see, that doesn't quite lay the way I want it to lay. That's okay. It's close enough. If I start messing with this, it's not going to look as good. So we're going to call it a day. And there you have it. Okay. So bum, 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 bum. <laughs> what do you think? Super easy, right? Really, really easy. Tomorrow over on my blog, you're going to see another version of this card. Same exact design same measurements, everything. Um, it's going to be over on my blog tomorrow using the um, 
sunshine and rainbows designer series paper okay so let me thank you amy appreciate it thank you sonia i feel like i want to give you the measurements again because i did it wrong the first time okay so let me just type them out and then if you want to grab a screenshot of how it's supposed to be um we'll do that by eight scored oops did i type that wrong i type for a living do you guys know that i'm a medical transcriptionist by trade so um you think i should be able to type nice and quick and accurately but not always the case um let's see here and then dsp this is the one i messed up seven and eighth by five and an eighth okay so if you're curious about don't hoard your dsp joan oh my goodness you gotta use it <laughs> you have to use it no hoarding and i also say no hoarding cards okay while you're grabbing a screenshot of that i'm gonna just I didn't do it ahead of time, but let me um, cut a panel for the, oh, no, what do I want to use? For the envelope. I can't talk and do something else at the same time. I'm looking for, is that it? Is that the one I want? Where is, no, that's the one I want. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, hold on. My cutter fell. Oive. So two and a quarter by six will do it for, I have an envelope. I just didn't cut the paper. Oh my gosh. My cat is running berserk around here. Okay. So here's my envelope. Let me just do quickly an envelope here and we'll call it a day. Oh my gosh. Do you hear my cat? He's running like a wild man. Okay. Oh, you're so very welcome, Pam. I'm so glad you like it. Thanks, friend. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, actually, I want that pink up. So two and a quarter by six will do your envelope flap. And it will fit in the envelope. The The bow, depending on how thick and chunky you make it, um, may require two stamps. Um, or you can use like a thinner one and not make it quite so chunky. Oop. Not make it quite so chunky and it should fit. But depending on how thick the ribbon makes it is whether you're going to need one stamp or two do two just to be on the safe side okay so remember all this product will go live tuesday january 4th you can find my shop with me link at jamieb.com okay and you're going to want to grab all this beautiful stuff how fun is that Awesome, right? Please let me know if you have any questions, if I can be of any help at all. That's what I'm here for. I love to help. I love to answer questions. So please use me as a resource. I really want you to have a successful um, outcome with this product and make beautiful cards. If I can help at all, let me know. Okay, everyone, that wraps up tonight. I will be back tomorrow, next week, same time, same place. And I hope to see you then. Have a happy new year's, everyone. See you later.